All right, here we go. The first week of framing. So moving all the materials around that were delivered by Menards and getting ready. So they'll first they'll put on the, the sill plates all along the the base, the foundation walls and uh, all that's green treat. I'll get all that installed. And uh, again, we're shooting pictures every 15 seconds. So uh, and uh, Camera's working out pretty good. So you can see in the lower right hand corner they're starting to work on the window wall and getting that to be framed out, cutting lots of lumber. Oh, yep, yeah, on break, lunch, and then they're coming back. They're framing the interior wall. That's a support wall to hold up the floor joists. They're building the right side wall. Now the wall on the uh, lower level for the windows is, is up and ready to go. The wall to hold up the floor joists is there so now they start to move the floor joists around get them in place and uh, they'll now go through and put all the floor joists in, in, in place they're just setting them here right now they're not really squared up and, and, and perfectly framed but uh, that's Monday June June 24th and here we go to Tuesday so now they'll uh, work at getting all the floor joists square and properly spaced and put a bunch of time into that to get all the, the floor joists in the right spot. Uh, crew really does a great job of checking everything and make sure everything's square and level. Uh, they, put, they put real effort into, into doing that. So then they got to pull all those spacer wood. Now they're going to put in the sheath, the floor sheathing. So they're gluing and stapling that to the floor, to the, to the floor joists. And the floors seem really nice, so we walk on them. There's, there's, you know, they feel, seem solid. They're not real mushy. So having their lunch, and get, they'll get back to work here in a couple seconds. And there they go. So cruising, cruising. So it got everything on the floor joist set, and sheathing goes on. And uh, you know, of course, you'll see here that there'll be a cutout for the stairs on the left side. Big hole was for the stairs, of course. And uh, now I get some more two by fours, and now they'll start to frame up the two outside walls. So the the west wall and the east wall of the first level, and uh, and that's kind of Tuesday. So uh, they get framed up, getting ready to go on Wednesday. All right, so here we are, Wednesday, working on the walls. They'll now sheathe the walls, get the sheathing on there. You, uh, um, and once they sheathe it, then they will house wrap it. And once they house wrap it, then they'll tip the walls up in into place. So there they are sheathing. They're, they're wrapping. Then they've got these uh, pole lifters, hoists of some kind. There they are in the background, and they hoist that wall up. Put the fourth, the third wall in the stub wall. There they hoist that one up. And now they're going to put uh, actually two more walls um, on the right hand side. So because there's going to be one that will have the patio door uh, going out to the to the deck, and then the wall, the last west sided wall on the far right hand side. I got that. I think they get that done here on Wednesday. And there they are. They're building the walls. The last two little walls. Interior walls. All right, the first one up, the second one on up, and uh, this comes to the end uh, of Wednesday. All right, Thursday. So now they're going to start to build the, uh, <clears throat> finish up, I'm sure, some things in the main area, but now they're going to start to um, build the interior walls. So they had laid out the interior walls. Pam and I went out and looked at them. Actually made a couple little changes when they had just laid out the exterior, the interior walls. Now they built all the interior wall or are building the interior walls. And, uh, you know, full height. So there they go. You can see the interior walls in, in there being being built. A little hard to see. 
you know, I can't really put the camera up any higher. I'm already at the top of my ladder, so I'm up at 25 feet, so I can't do uh, much more. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to go to a different angle. Uh, looking for another tree. Okay, here we go. Building the garage walls. And, uh, now, of course, there's uh, studs in, in the cement so that you got to pick up the walls. I'm going to show up here pretty soon here in a, in a blue t-shirt. They were short a guy who had uh, had had to do something else, so they only had a three-man crew, so I helped them lift the wall. So I actually feel like I put some sweat equity in here, so I lifted that wall, what of that one, then we used, of course, the forklift to lift the, the third wall. But the walls all got installed up and installed and, and uh, ready to go. So there's the Thursday. The garage walls are up. Now we're on Friday, last working day. A uh, bunch of rain in the morning, so it didn't really start work until like 9-ish. Uh, just uh, very muddy, very wet. Uh, but now they'll they'll uh, work on the garage walls. So because the garage walls are 10 foot, the garage is 1 foot lower than the house. they got to put all these little, uh, little uh, pieces of wood. I don't know what the term is. 1 foot so that they can put the 9 foot sheathing above and they'll put 1 foot little patch pieces along the bottom. Okay, so that's what they're they're doing there. So they'll get there. There's the lower pieces of sheathing going around, and now they can put the full sheets of sheathing around the garage. So the the garage is uh, up and sheathed, and and doing good. So lots of activity now. We're, they're cleaning up the, the site because the, the uh, roof joists have showed up. And it was a massive load. So you can see that the tra trailer tries to come in. And they try to do the forklift and move things around. And it was really difficult. Very, very muddy. It took like five times to get it in the right spot. But 